know the thing about about foreign leaders and how corrupt they are it's just that the problem is that in the u.s where we're actually not very different from other i mean there, there really isn't anything different from american muslims and muslims in other countries including the leaders and our, our leaders includes head, heads of nonprofits, heads of masajid um and uh you know we have we obviously have good people everywhere and we have people that uh that are kind of corrupt everywhere yeah. um and uh and if we if we don't have some sort of standards to or, or some way of distinguishing between one and another and getting rid of people that uh that are corrupt um that do abuse power um then uh then we're you know we're we're going to a place where young people are going to be a lot more cynical about religion um and uh people are going to think about islam uh in ways that uh that are going to be just unflattering they're going to there because because we we always turn a blind eye towards corruption and and the, the thing about corruption is well the problem the the real problem in corruption isn't that people are corrupt it's that we tolerate corruption um and and we try to be but quiet why, why do we tolerate that. it why do you think we tolerate it though, Ahmed? and that's something that's always something i thought about um at least historically you saw things like the french revolution happen and people didn't right. want to tolerate certain things that were being instated by their governments and all of a sudden in i would say post french revolution i think one of the one of the ideas or one of the lessons that a lot of the western powers realized was that if you give people uh their basic needs you fill their stomach and give them a roof over their head they're mm -hmm. not likely to complain and i'm not i'm not saying you know um i'm not against some of these socialist practices of of you know taking care of the basic needs of people you know that's right. a, in line with islam i'm just saying that these things have been exploited by capitalism that um you while they've certainly made things accessible to people below the poverty line they've certainly taken also advantage of their quiet uh, of their um belly being full and and having a roof over their head um by uh, taking advantage of them in every other way, in in exploiting all their other yeah. uh, characteristics of humanness. Now, I mean, we always talk about the attention um, characteristic. You know, nowadays your your attention to an ad is is worth something, and everything has has a value now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I I don't I don't know. I mean, quietism seems seems kind of rational in a lot of ways, right? I right. mean, it's a it's not something that uh, I mean you don't you don't normally want to to uh, I mean and it's going to be relatively few people that are going to be activists or that are going to, to that are going to speak out um, um, and and that's that's kind of been the way that's that's always been the way it is um, for um, and there are, there are obviously exceptional times and places and, and leaders that uh, that are able to move the, the needle in one direction or another um, but. Uh, you know, if we, you know, I, I remember when I started writing about this stuff, right? When I started writing about CBE, um, and there was this one organization, still is, MPAC. Um, and uh, it took me over a year to, uh, to actually write something about them. First, I hoped somebody else would do it um, because, you know, there are other people out there, they're journalists or what have you, and, but it's not interesting enough for, you know, like a newspaper to write about or anything like that. Um, and, and so, um, you know, I I, I talked I talked to the organization. I, I pointed out what their issues were, um, and uh, they didn't do anything about it. And uh, I I ended up uh, having to write about it because I just felt compelled that uh, people are being people are being cheated here. I mean, people are being lied to um, by Muslim organ by a Muslim organization about uh, about some really important things, and young people are going to be suffering because uh because they're getting this false sense of endorsement from other muslim leaders um and uh, and it's, it becomes a club right i mean these muslim exactly. leaders exactly that's 100 percent right there it's it's become right. a club a cartel of sorts where everyone is especially in chicago there's so many of people personalities that you'd be shocked you know that they were recipients of cve money they um they all had like um they all operated um not openly uh and they, they 
they did speaking engagements with the, I'm just trying to be careful with my words. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure right. I don't get in trouble. <laughs> I've and I've had a very stressful couple of months and I don't need more drama in my life. But um Is that quietism there? No, no, I'm just I'm Don't say I, that he's gonna start right. going off. Of there, there's certain let's just say there's very public people who who've taken um C V E speaking engagement right. money whether whether or not they they willingly knew that I I tend to believe that they did know that it was coming that the, their speaking engagements were um, CVE funded right. um, for for those who are overseas the, the equivalent of CVE is prevent um, probably much more mm. known in the UK and abroad. violent extremism right so um, yeah CVE yeah so a lot right. of these people they they've they've operated under a paradigm of pragmatism that oh you know the money's available why not make use of it we can um, talk about this maybe on a surface level and then uh, rationalize um, the expenditure or the the actually the the uh, taking of that money or uh, towards education purposes and, and you know people have people make their own justification you know it's of course we, it, humans don't want to be the villain in their story i mean yeah. every person wants to be the hero of their story they rationalize whatever evil they do uh you know i cheated on my wife because uh, she wasn't you know going to bed with me or whatever you know the people always right. yeah. rationalize their, their bad deeds i and know it's that's, haram but i have to do it yeah right? you know so kind of. that's um, and the other thing I, I i i love the conversation of uh the concept of quietism and um because i think there's a few reasons for that too um uh, number one thing is if somebody gives you something you feel very um you feel uh very it's very difficult to correct them Right? right. What, what's that? What's there's a saying about that too? You give somebody, make them your slave, or something like that, or your servant, something like that. But mm. well, you know, um, uh, I think uh, Caldini, in his book on uh, on influence, he has uh, this principle of reciprocity. Yes, and mm -hmm. if you give somebody something, and the other thing is now um, you have to really, really get um, and muster a lot of courage um, to say something to somebody or a group or a country or the world. Um, if it goes against your principles, right? Those right. being Islamic principles, obviously, because it's a lot easier to just follow, you know, and you don't have to worry. You can get, in this, get through this world unscathed if you really want to and just be bullied, you know? Um, right. But what happens is when you do find the truth, um, it becomes a big responsibility and everybody's afraid of responsibility, man. You know, mm -hmm. one day my children are we're all good and one thing that I say, this or this thing that I say, can change my life drastically right? right and it's that it's that fear and a lot of times those fears aren't legitimate we kind of create a story inside of our minds but that's the the, the reason why i mentioned all of that is that's the test of this world man right you know and that's why i respect a lot of people like yourself to uncover things that people didn't know about and if you really really think about it if you if you you know um mention any of these organizations and they have a lot of power i mean you can they could make your life miserable, right? right? And obviously, you've taken that into consideration, right? I mean, the you know? thing with the thing with an organization like Impact, because I'm here in the Los Angeles area.